Okay, so your problem reads, a ball rolls down a street, bouncing from curb to curb, and comes to a stop next to a car tire. A second ball, starting from the same spot, comes down the same hill, but straight down the middle. It, too, comes to a stop next to the same car tire. Which ball covered the greatest displacement and which covered the greatest distance? Explain. All right, so let's draw a picture so we can see what's happening and really suss out the difference between distance and displacement, one of our important players of motion in our motion problem-solving process. So if we imagine, I'm going to look sort of at a head-on view of the, um, the hill. So that this is the top of the hill, and here's the bottom of the hill. And let's say here's our car parked here at the bottom of the hill. Okay. So first we have a ball that says it's bouncing or rolling from curb to curb. So it's going down the hill, bouncing from curb to curb, and it comes to rest here at the car tire. And the second ball starts from the same spot, and it goes straight down and comes to rest here at the tire. So I have two balls, or rocks, or whatever's rolling down the hill, two balls rolling down the hill, one following the yellow trajectory, and the other following the orange trajectory. So the first question is, which has the larger distance? Well, distance is total length. We add up the every bit of length that we have. For the ball represented by the yellow trajectory, well, I have this length, and I add this length, and I add this length, and this length, and this length. For the ball represented by the orange trajectory, I have this length. Clearly, the yellow ball travels a greater distance. So, the distance of the yellow ball is greater than the distance of the orange one. Okay, it moves more lengths. All right, what about displacement? Well, by definition, displacement, delta x, remember that's my displacement. Well, that is my final position minus my initial position. So, what is my final position? Well, my final position is at the tire of the car. What's my initial position? Well, my initial position is wherever I started. And in this case, the initial position for the yellow ball is the same as the initial position for the orange ball, and the final position for the yellow ball is the same as the final position for the orange ball. So the displacement of the yellow ball is going to be equal to the displacement of the orange ball. Why? Well, they start at the same place, and they end at the same place. And therefore, the displacement has to be the same. Now, it's important to keep in mind, displacement, just as a reminder, has direction. In this case, if I said the downward direction is negative, both balls would have a negative displacement. Distance, no direction. All right, good job.